Paul Bedin has been an advocate for our veterans in a lot of ways, and in her new book, A Sacred Duty, she is talking about her difficult struggles to come forward and expose what the VA was doing to the people who served our country. Paula, how are you? I'm good. How are you, so, Greg? And I got a Paula Bedin. That's right. I always say Bedin, and I always, I'm so, so And as okay. many years we've been doing the parade and everything. Um, and so, again, you've been a big advocate for our men and women who have served this country. Um, and I'm going to set the story up because um, it's one that you are proud that you did, but not proud that you had to do this. Correct. Um, and that is where we were seeing problems with our veteran services, the VA. My mother works with the VA every day because she has veterans. She saw the problems too. No one came forward, but you did, and let's talk about that. Yeah, so we learned about the delays and waits that the veterans were facing, and um, it, it was really sad. We, you know, first of all, they were picking on me because they knew I was a truth teller, so they pulled me out of my job and put me in the basement. I was the PR director, sixth floor down to the basement, and then uh, heard about the waits and delays. I'm already in trouble because they're falsely investigating me, and I'm writing anonymous letters the whole time. Wow. And finally, I'm telling Dr. Foote, who was a wonderful colleague, and I said, Sam, somebody's got to stop them. He goes, let me do my own research. He did his own research. The veterans would come into him to see him as a provider, and they would tell him, Sam, it took me six months, nine months, a year to get in here. All the while, the VA saying, 14 days. We're getting our patients in within 14 yeah. days. Yeah, and that wasn't true. And and what was happening is that we were losing these veterans yes. over that wait time. And, and it's amazing that these men and women served our country and they had to go through red tape right. just to get a physical so they can get insurance to pay the VA. It, it was crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. The whole setup was unethical, illegal, immoral. And that's what the book talks about is it's, you know, it's, it's really hard as a little guy, the David in the room, to fight the big Goliath. It yeah. really is. I mean, I had to pay for all my lawyers. They had lawyers on their staff. The book talks about every single step of the way, all the letters I wrote, how I went from anonymous to being the, you know, the support behind Dr. Foote, right. uh, what the wait list involved, and, and kind of how, how things ended up. And the good news is that we were able to expose them and stop them dead yeah. in their tracks. And that's important. And, and that's what this book is. It's an easy read. Um, and the big part is, is that you were one of the people that stepped up when a lot of other people should have stepped up and didn't. And now those people are going, you know what? I am going to step up more, but it's kind of hard when it's your your job there, right. especially as a PR person, person. <laughs> to spin this stuff to make it look good and, and to say this, and, and you finally said, I can't do that anymore. No, the last thing you need is, is you know, you want to air your dirty laundry in public, but the good news was by my exposure, hundreds of whistleblowers across the country have come forward and to this day VA has the largest number of whistleblowers in any federal agency. Yeah and, and that's the reason why is that they finally said enough's enough that I mean my mother in Michigan was saying too where you know she had all the paperwork done and everything and still there was people going well no you need this piece and that piece yeah. and she couldn't understand why it's but it's because it was just a disheveled place and it's supposed to be our government right. taking care of our, our veterans. nation's veterans yeah. our veterans have earned the right to their health care there's no one that should deny yeah. it so. and the book tells a wonderful story about getting them the care they need yeah and that's so amazing that you did this and i know very very little proud of you i know when it first happened you were very Humble, so very scared, and you're so, so depressed. Yeah, no. and now so that depressed. you wrote about it, so you have to yeah. pick this book up. Where can people find the book? They can find it anywhere. You have to go into any. You can go into any bookstore, Target, Barnes and Noble, order it from them. It's not a bestseller. People think that'll just be on the bookshelf. No, 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 not yet. Hopefully, oh, in the it's future. Oh, it's gonna be a bestseller. After you leave here, it's a bestseller. Right. You know that, right? right. I got a good track Thank record you. with bestsellers. But it's so. available on Amazon. Any, so you can find it anywhere. Where a sacred duty, just go and look for it and order it today. Thank you. Are you doing speaking engagements? Yes. Are you? And what we talk about is how you can't let misinformation mislead the public. And that's what's happening all across our country. There's all kinds of misinformation and it's manipulating the public into thinking a different way than what is really ethically truthful. There you go. So. 
Paula, thank you for joining us. Anytime. So, all right. You. Thank you. Yeah, please go pick up the book. And again, uh, please support our veterans. You know, you can go to our website on aztv.com to find out more of what Paula is doing and what we do here at the station for our military men and women. So, all right, come back. More mix.